Hello everyone, Zikor here, and today I'm going to be bringing guys my first impressions video of the MPX, uh, the, what's it called now? Come on, video, show me, because I'm playing a video of it right now. <laughs> the SIG MPX SBR, I think it is, custom. I'm just going to call it S and the MPX for sim uh, to simplify. Um, now, I, I do want to apologize for this video being pretty late. I actually uh, attempted to record this and, like, try to post this in the few days after the gun's release but um it, it happened during my finals so i had to put it on a halt and i couldn't come back and and finalize the video but anyways um so this is really a first impressions video and what that means is that i'm gonna be talking about how i feel about the gun based on one or two days of gameplay maybe 10 to 20 matches with it um and uh, yeah, so anything that I say, you shouldn't take it like as 100%. It's just how I felt with, uh, while playing with the gun. And if you had your hopes up, up for the gun, your hopes high for the gun, no, or your hopes up, up for the gun, um, you should definitely test it out for yourself to um, see how it does. I don't think it's in the shop anymore, so that's not really a great thing to say. But anyways, um, so it's a burst fire rifle or SMG I should say. I, I'm pretty sure it's the second one that Orpheus has ever had and the fourth one uh, in in total after the Hamas, the Dunefield and the uh, the SMG that I have no idea what the name is. Um, and I don't really like uh, burst fire rifles um, mainly because of uh, so the the result of, of their burst fire how it changes your play style, I don't really like it. Um, but since it w this was a credit random box weapon, I was had pretty high hopes for it. I thought it was going to be uh, performing pretty damn good, but that's not really what happened, and I was pretty disappointed when I used it. So we're just going to start off with the looks, um, as we always do. Uh, the gun looks like if... It looks pretty nice. Um, it looks like if the M4 CQB and the Honey Badger had a baby together. That's what I feel like it looks like. Um, it has a really nice and quick reload animation as well. And it, it looks pretty decent in the kill feed too. Uh, but one little thing that um, I, I'm, I'm, some of you might have noticed as well is that since it doesn't have any grip attachments, um, it might feel a sort of off when you you have it equipped and you're playing with it. Because um, with, with most, like 90% of the guns in Warface having grip attachments, you kind of get used to... Um, seeing your hand on s some sort of grip below the weapon, but this with this weapon you're just put it, placing your hand under the barrel, so it can it can feel a little off, but it's nothing too um, important to affect gameplay or whatever. Uh, now onto the real talk, the stats. So they're pretty good on on paper, as you would expect for a uh, credit random box weapon. So 770 RPM, uh, bullets four bullets at a time at 85 damage, a uh, range of 10 meters, I think that's the standard, and it actually has a, a DPS or damage per second of 1091, which is higher than the Chris, uh, that Chris from the operation, I don't even know what the hell it's called, um, that Chris weapon from the operation, Chris Super Custom, some shit, uh, and the Scorpion Evo, it has a, a higher, uh, it has a higher uh, DPS than those, meaning uh, it's supposed to output more damage per second, but um, as I'll get more into it later, it does not feel at least that it, it, it does. Um, then we get to the mul multipliers. It has 1.2 for both arms and legs, and this is, I think, the highest among all SMGs. I'm not sure, but it's definitely higher than the Evo and the Chris again. Uh, those two have, respectively, for one for the arms and 0.9 for the leg, legs, um, and I'm gonna keep comparing it to those two because they're like the most uh, relevant uh, SMGs in Warface, I feel like. Uh, so it has better uh, body multipliers than those, but its head multiplier is much worse than theirs. Um, or it's, it's 4.1 for the head, and the Chris's uh, head, mo headshot multiplier is 4.5, and the Scorpion's is 4.2. So, um, 
if if you're a player, I'm just gonna say this right up right now. Uh, if you're a player who goes for the head, uh, most of the most of the time or all the time, this this not this weapon is just not gonna feel right. Um, it's it's gonna feel a little lackluster. Yeah, if I if if I'm not um, yeah, whatever. I know I know this, I don't know where I'm going with that. Um, but uh, yeah, it, the headshot multiplier is pretty bad. Um, well, or at least relative to to the other at uh, SMGs. Um, then there's a spread which I'm gonna show on the screen here that is sort of weird um, and bad. Each burst that you shoot has a bit of spread, and I'm pretty sure when you uh, shoot back to back, so you shoot several bursts um, one after another, those that uh, spread adds up. So there's a lot of spread. And it's going to be felt a lot more at range, of course. Um, and then it also has a damage drop of 3 per meter. And a minimum damage of 35, which I think are standard. So, uh, what do these stats uh, translate to? How, how does the gun feel in game? Um, again, like I said before, this is from my experience in um, one or two days of using this gun. And keep in mind that I have been very inactive in Warface, so my skill level has dropped uh, a considerable amount, <laughs> so that might have had some effect on it. Um, so take all, all the stuff that I say with a grain of salt, please. please. Um, so first of all, um, I felt like it struggled at range very badly. Um, like, you would expect that for an SMG, since SMGs are sort of meant to perform at close and medium range. But in Warface, that has not been the norm for most SMGs. Most SMGs, you feel like you do perfectly fine with them, even at range, just like a rifle would. But this this SMG, I felt like when I was trying to get a target that was at, at a far distance, I was throwing pebbles at them. That's how I felt like. <laughs> and then um, going back to the headshot, headshot multiplier uh, of the gun, um, this it's definitely you're gonna get a lot more body shots with this weapon and it's gonna feel a bit weak if 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 you focus on headshots um all all the time or most of the time and um so a lot of people are might tank it at times apparently the syndicate armor of one of these operation armors are like super broken so i feel like um it's gonna do like zero damage on those but i don't have any like concrete experience with that um, but also, like, it, if you engage with somebody else who's using um, another weapon, another SMG, who's also going for you, uh, shooting, you're aiming at your head, then you're very likely to, like, lose the gunfight. Um, or at least a lot of times when I've engaged somebody in a gunfight and we've both gone for each other's, uh, we've both tried to headshot each other, um, I have lost to them in many occasions. And I feel like that um, not only goes back to the headshot multiplier, but it also goes back to the um, to the burst fire aspect of the gun, which uh, is my next point. Uh, the burst, the fact that it's a burst fire weapon, brings this it brings along a whole new array of issues. Um, first of all, I think it, it really makes it difficult to take out multiple targets back to back. Um, because each time you're engaging with one target, you're committing four bullets at a time, and the gun has pretty high RPM. So by the time you're done with one or two uh, opponents, for the next opponents that might appear uh, in front of you, you, I feel like most of the time, and I've experienced this actually, uh, you're either going to be low on, on ammunition, or you're going to be low on, on damage, and they're going to out-damage you. And... That leads me to believe that it's it would it's a much more uh, the weapon is much more suitable for round based game modes than it is for like something fast paced and uh, and quick like free fall when you where you encounter a lot of enemies uh, one after another. Um, so I would recommend it using if you want to use it and if you want to get it. Don't I, I think it would be better to use it in round based game modes. Um, and also, this is not exclusive to this weapon, but any burst fire rifle, there's, uh, of course, a readjustment to be made to your playstyle 
if you want to use it. Um, and, well, it's, it's sort of self-explanatory. The gun is shooting a series of bullets at a time instead of giving you a freedom of shooting how many bullets you want. So you definitely have to uh, get used to it, uh, get used to clicking multiple times and, uh, you, you know, working out your, your fire rate and your aim and everything like that. You, you, you need to readjust your gameplay, that's what I'm trying to say. And <laughs> something sort of funny and, and stupid uh, that happened to me actually, I don't know if any of you have a low enough IQ like me for it to happen, but sometimes I would just completely forget <laughs> that <laughs> I need to shoot. Like, I would, I would just shoot once, uh, and then I, I would like randomly stop shooting, uh, and then I will realize like, what the fuck am I doing? This is a burst fire rifle, <laughs> I need to continue shooting. I need to continue clicking to activate the next burst. Uh, you might have seen that in the gameplay as well. Happens a few times, but uh, that's one one thing about it. Like with a normal weapon, you either spray or you tap fire. But with this weapon, you have to uh, click a lot and tap fire and try to uh, connect bursts of uh, of uh, bullets at a time to your enemies. Um, and lastly, it's not really a really big deal if you're not addicted to to hip firing like I am, but um, if contrary to my expectations of the gun, uh, not only because it's an SMG and uh, but also because it's a burst fire rifle, I felt like the gun would would have had pretty amazing hip accuracy, but that was not the case at all. Like I felt like it. it the hip accuracy of the gun was much worse than most other SMGs that I've used uh, up till now. Uh, but again, if you if you're not stupid like me and and uh, hip fire way too often, then this is probably not going to be a problem, or you you probably won't even notice it. Uh, but yeah, that's it uh, for that weapon. Again, sorry for the late uh, first impressions video. Um, and again, keep in mind. You should take all this with a grain of salt. And if you were looking forward to the weapon, uh, my main um, sort of take on the weapon is that is I don't recommend you switch to it or try to main it or anything like that. Uh, but if you were looking forward to a weapon and like it or something, uh, you should definitely give it a try and see how you yourself perform with it. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'm going to try to work on... Uh, the weapons that are getting the buff and changes uh, as well as well as some other projects and, and other uh, generic or like more general videos as well uh, but yeah that's it I'll see you guys next time goodbye